So in this video I'm showing you how to color grade your log footage. That's not always easy. In this example I'm doing it with the VLOG L from the Panasonic GH5. Coming up! Hey guys, my name is Paul, I'm from Germany, you might have already noticed my German accent. Anyway, on this channel I'm focusing on tech reviews as well as filmmaking, so if you are interested in that, consider subscribe. In today's video we are talking about how to color grade your log footage, especially B log L from the Panasonic GH5. So color grading, as I told in my last video, is something definitely different than color correction but color correction is always the first step that we do so the first thing we need to do is to transform our log footage into a standard picture profile which would be something like rec 709 so here in my timeline i have two clips this is um, the raw vlog l footage and this one here is the color graded version. Always very important, uh, color grading as always, which is something very subjective. So something that looks cool for me might look, might look totally different or not good for you. So therefore, it's always a personal taste how you want to have your color grading. Do you like a more green shift? In the colors or do you want to have it more natural do you want to have it more desaturated so I think you get the point but um, the main thing is that it's always very a personal opinion how do you like to color grade your footage in this tutorial I want to recreate the famous orange teal look within Premiere Pro without any plugins or anything like that just right in Premiere so let's do it Okay, so as I told you, here I have my clip. The first thing I need to do, uh, the first thing I want to do is open up my Lumetri scopes like so. Um, in the last thing, next step would be I open up my curves. Curves is a very powerful tool. And as I can see here in my scopes that, um, yeah, we don't have that much of highlights, we don't have that much of shadows, so we basically don't have contrast at all, so we need to increase our contrast. And we are simply doing it by pushing the blacks, which is this point here, way to this side. We don't want to do it too much so that we crash basically the blacks. That one looks good and we want to push our whites so the highlights so that we increase our um, contrast something like this now the image looks already way better than before but what i definitely notice is that um, the uh, white balance was off so therefore I need to fix this really fast so white balance is always very important since uh, we don't record in RAW so I go into opacity take my pen tool and just take a simple mask of my gray card here gray card always very helpful I always told you <laughs> so and here when I open now my lumetri scopes then I see that my exposure is uh, right away quite good, but we have a heavily, yeah, we have too much red and too less yellow. And we also see it here in the saturation curve that, is, that the image is shifting towards reds and yellows. So we need to fix that by increasing our blues, so giving it a blue tint. This I'm doing in the in the basic correction and I'm just moving the um, curve or the slider here from orange to blue until I have something that is that is uh, more or less correct. I would say something like around here. And uh, now I want to also this shift here. Right about there looks really good. So 
so now I have also I see here in the saturation panel that I don't have a shift to each color so that's basically good and also from the uh, exposure we are quite good and um, yeah just um, let's um, delete the mask that we can see what we've done and uh, yeah that is the basic image that was before our color correction that is after so as I already told you in my last video it's really hard to fix that in post we kind of fixed it now but the image would look better if I have set my um, white balance correctly in camera so just for your understanding if I would have the correct color balanced um, video in camera it would look definitely better but that's something that we can work on for now and for my taste the image still needs a little bit of vibrance and also saturation so I increase that and yeah that's definitely uh, the Rec 709 color profile and now we can start to color grade um, just checking before and after that's before that's after so we definitely already did a great job here I think and now let's move on um, what I'm doing right now is um, I want to preserve my skin tones because the orange tea look is very um, known for that the skin tones always pop and that's um, because the skin tones are very bright and saturated so I just want to affect my skin tones now so I'm doing that by going to the HSL slider um, and I'm picking the eyedropper tool the eyedropper tool and I drop um, and I take a part of my skin like so I check here the color gray so that, that, I, that I know what color is selected and I can uh, even increase or decrease the range here um, I want to get more yeah that looks already quite good I think uh, something about this and I also want to fade it a little bit off and now I have here my slider where I can um, do my crazy things and I want to push it more into the reds and orange so that's what the skin should look like we don't want to do it too much just very subtle um, I also want to increase the contrast here and also um, sharpening a little bit so now I think um, yeah definitely before and after it's really a huge difference I think so now that is my yeah my basement I think for for color grading and the final tweak I want to do with an adjustment layer so then I always can easily go back to my Rec 709 pic picture profile so I'm um, selecting the adjustment layer <laughs> sometimes it's hard okay and what we are doing right now I'm going to deal with the color wheels so here we basically have our highlights our midtones and our shadows okay and just dragging the slider of the shadows to already to the teals and blues we don't want to do it too much that's basically already too much I think we can take our highlights a little bit to the yellow part because that's what the Sun is all about yellow and we can take our midtones a little bit more to the orange like so and I want to drop down my shadows a little bit and um, yeah uh, midtones are good highlights are also very good I like the image though the only thing that I don't like is that the, the saturation of the 
uh, of the tree behind me is something like irritating. Uh, I don't wanna. I want to have less saturation there so that my skin pops more out. So I do that by going back to curves. And here I have a special curve. That's the saturation curve. So I select the colors that I want to have desaturated. And I think it should be around there and we can already see that the tree behind me is becoming less saturated and I will increase the saturation uh, in the oranges and in the teals. Something like that. And that's basically it. That's before. Whoop. So again, here we have the starting point and you can see the final image just for your, um, yeah, just for double checking I also have created a lot because the only thing that you can really do in Premiere is giving a certain color, a certain hue so that all green and um, blues are representing teal now that's very hard to do that you can that's something that you totally can better do in Lightroom or um, Premiere Pro uh, in uh, Photoshop so I created that and just want to show it to you right now uh, just to give me a second yeah that's our color grading what we did and I just want to disable it and now I'm loading in a LUT right here. So I'm going to the LUT panel and I'm taking this one and we can see that the look is totally different, that the orange comes even out more and all the other colors are way more desaturated and now I have this green teal look and this orange look so it definitely is better to go to create a lot in Photoshop, I will also um, show you how to how you can do that, and you can also um, drag here the intensity if you want. Um, just for um, double checking right here, just for a comparison. So this is what we've achieved with. Um, with right in Premiere and uh, this is what it would look like with an, with a LUT. I think it looks a little bit better because I even pop more out. Um, yeah, but I can still try to work on it here by decreasing the greens. I think we have a lot of green here. Um, so I'm gonna take them down even more like so yeah and now I have definitely a better look than before but from my perspective I totally like the orange teal look a little bit more so that's always as I've said a personal preference but I already showed you how to do it and I hope you guys learned something by doing it I'm really appreciating if you are dropping some comments below if you have any kind of questions I would really like to answer them and always check out my other videos as well so I teach a lot about white balance about exposure and all that kind of stuff so and also all the gear that I use is also linked down below and if you have any questions just drop me a line and I see you guys in my very next video. Cheers!